Hi, this is an addendum to the to the lesson that uh, we've done on joining tables. And some of you may be out there thinking, as we've gone through all of this, where you have to kind of keep track of the row count and all that stuff, and you may be thinking to yourself, you know what, why don't I just left join everything? How about I just left join everything? And then I won't have to deal with any of this. I'll always bring back the data set that I anticipate. And on face value, that, that would seem like uh, a, a, something that you might want to do. However, a left join compared to a join is a very expensive operation. And so when you're talking about just going and left joining everything in your queries as opposed to doing what would be a correct join, the appro or I should say the appropriate join, you're basically utilizing more system resources and just creating potential performance problems in the queries that you write. And I, I've seen that a lot where I'll come in and I'll look at people's queries and they'll have eight tables open and they'll all be left joined. And I'll usually, if I'm not familiar with the particular database, I'll kind of take a step back and go, do all these tables need to be left joined? Especially a lot of times queries will come to me in terms because they're not performing correctly, they're just not optimized properly for the runtime environment that, that they're being executed in. And so that's something that I'll take a look at. So the idea is, is you want to be disciplined and only use left join where you have to. Uh, so that's an important thing for you to to both understand and practice. That's all I've got on that subject. I'll see you. Bye.